Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to talk about my interview experience with Capgemini. So let us directly get started. So this was uh, like a little uh, different experience where you know, uh, they directly gave me access to Tableau and uh, started asking uh, scenarios. So something like uh, very rarely happens and maybe uh, you know people are adapting to this different kinds of testing where they not only want to test our theoretical knowledge on tableau but also want to see how we actually do things okay so something that is very important okay so make sure you now you are practicing enough so that you know when this kind of questions come in interview you are able to answer them so let us get started so first was like you know in the first round of uh, interview uh, there was like a uh, initial uh, discussion where they tried to understand what my role is what i do on a uh, day to day basis so that that they uh, tried to understand so based on that there were questions like you know uh, do i interact with the client so am i part of uh, the requirement gathering how do you give uh, estimates so these questions they ask like what kind of dashboards you have created so are you aware of uh, tableau server do you really have hands on on tableau server like that so i was able to tell what all i did like my roles and responsibilities uh, and how many dashboards i have created and on which which uh, you know uh, for which which client i have worked and all so uh, and my server level activities so so i mean uh, how how much of server i know that i was able to communicate with the you know uh, with them in the initial round and then you know the second round happened where they actually tested my tableau skills so to start off again in the second round also the first question was like you know explain yourself uh, in brief again this is something that is very very important and i always tell in every uh, uh, you know video of mine uh, because you know this is the question which gives an interviewer an understanding whether you know we have uh, genuinely worked or not or do we really have an experience or not so make sure you are prepared to this type of question okay and have a standard format like what all do you want to include in that so so maybe you can you know like a little uh, re do a little uh, research on that like what do you want to include what is your client like you know how what kind of dashboards you have implemented so this some answers you should always have ready so that when it if because this is a standard question that comes in, in in every interview that you go so and if you are able to answer this then next questions will be easier and that will start the you know say stage for the next questions so directly you know uh, the first question was design a dashboard to show filter actions simple so he gave us one simple question he asked me to you know uh, use tableau and create a dashboard showing filter actions so which i was able to demonstrate uh, so i've created two worksheets like uh, category wise sales and sub category wise sales and you know uh, i tried to explain how or what are the different options that we have in you know uh, actions here so if i go to uh, dashboard and click on actions here add action if i select on filter action like how all this works and what all these three means and what this uh, like the source sheet and target sheet i explained them along and simultaneously i was uh, able to demonstrate the working of uh, tableau action so like this took some time because you now we have to uh, develop a, a dashboard at least two sheets we have so you can take at least like you no know, five minutes for this next question was what is the difference between parameter and filter like something very very important uh, you know concept so uh, we know that filter is restricting data but same thing i can achieve from my parameter also right i can restrict the data by up creating a parameter and applying some calculation on top of that so we should be able to justify what is parameter actually for okay so parameter will bring in dynamicity to your report which means we can pass values at the runtime suppose i am creating top 10 customers using our filter shelf so i'll go to my worksheet here and uh, i'll take my 
suppose if i take name here and i can go to this top and i can directly find out top 10 based on the field that i want okay so this is the step here but this is 10 that is there that is static here so once you create top 10 that's it no one can change it unless you know we come back to our tableau desktop and change this number manually so which is like a tedious task so we want to bring in interactivity to our dashboard so the more interactive your dashboard is the better chance of having a satisfaction level so so that difference is here here what is the difference between parameter and uh, filter again he asked me another uh, question where design a dashboard using parameter to show top and bottom and values okay so something very important here so i mean uh, uh, maybe you know oh, i thought for a while like how we can implement this but then i thought you know we have sets using that we can implement here okay so you need to create two sets for this top and set bottom and set and then on top of that you have to create a combined set which will bring in you know all the customers from top and bottom so the difference is you have to keep that value as uh, i mean use the same uh, parameter here go here create set go to top set here by field here so this 10 is again static like i said but if you click on this here you have a parameter create new parameter you can use this method so here for top and bottom you have to use that same parameter and you can add them add both into the view and then you can show both top and bottom and values in the same view that is again something very important now again he asked me another question draw a graph to show running total okay something like you see here two dashboards i've already created till here and this was the third one so again i went into this again something that is very easy you can drag your dimension and you can uh, drop your measure so maybe okay i'll go okay so let me convert the okay so uh, this is our simple bar chart now what we need to do is just click on this and go to quick table calculation and here you have an option called as running total so what running total does is it adds up your previous value like i have one two three four and five so now first value will be one second value will be one plus two three third value will be like it will add up your previous value like that so that is your running total here okay i'm going back to my tableau next is again draw a donut chart again here so like one of the very you know frequent thing that you know anyone tells like if you have created any custom chart that is donut chart we answer so try to come up with new charts because this has become so common now i mean uh, so here the luck was on my side so they asked me uh, to create a donut chart so which i did so again like very uh, easy and i mean we all might have used here and next something like very important option but only those who have worked thoroughly on tableau will remember this option how do you remove show all option in filter something very important so just go to your sheet here and uh, like if i click on this name and i'm just clicking on sorry I'm clicking on show filter here go here now you see here we have all value i want to remove this so go to this filter click on customize and you can uncheck to show all value that is how you can remove all value from here something that is very important okay and important to remember as well so in this kind of questions you know uh, here i mean there is a probability that he might catch us like uh, i mean at least he will know, know how uh, how far we have used tableau that is how do you next is tableau format you, you know again this is something that is very generic and we can answer according to our you know understanding we can answer like twb uh, and twbx two formats here itself tableau workbook and packaged workbook too again like uh, dot tde tableau data extract third option so you can uh, add a tbm tableau bookmarks 
uh, or uh, the map ex uh, extension PPS, something like that. You know, the the more you add, the better it is. But so I I think I have given like four uh, formats that I know: TWB, TWBX, dot TD, and uh, TBM. I have given and the dot hyper something like this. So this kind of answers I gave here. Next is what is the difference between live and extract? Again, something that is very common question and a very important question also. So this is some very specific option that is available in Tableau. So who all have worked on Tableau will know this difference here. But challenge is how will you explain the difference between live and extract connection? So you have to explain the complete background working of live and extract. So why do you suggest you know, uh, a client to use a live connection or, you know, why do you suggest to use an extract connection? So we simply cannot tell that, you know, based on volume of my data, I will decide whether to go for live data or extract connection. So we have to have uh, a pretty, you know, sure answer, like why did you decide or what was your expectation on that? So prepare your answer for this according to you. I told that, you know, uh, in few, uh, uh, dashboards have used live connection and few I have used extract. So I generally, you know, uh, get in touch with the client and check his uh, expectation on, you know, what uh, on the data that is that he wants to see on the dashboard. Based on that, I will decide and also on the volume. So volume is like, again, very generic answer. So that's why I don't prefer, you know, telling, you know, based on volume, I will decide whether live or extract connection. So for me, like say 10,000 might be huge record and for some 10,000 might be very less record. So there are two, two things, so, you know, how you are seeing your data. So that's why it is always, you know, better to, you know, get in touch with the client to, to understand his expectation uh, on the uh, real time data that he wants to see on the server. Based on that, you will be able to take a better, uh, a better uh, answer here. Next is again, one of the very, you know, commonly faced issue here, if at all we are using maps, that is how to add undefined locations into a Tableau map. So generally like, you know, whenever a you know, client gives us some data and uh, there is uh, a map uh, field or uh, which has latitude and longitude information, there is a probability that uh, some of the locations that are available might not get identified. Now, how do you fix that? That is something, one problem. Again, I had to show this in, this option in the tableau for him. So I went into map option here and here we'll get this map options here where we can uh, fix that problem. So because currently we do not have anything related to map, it is not same, but generally we can you know uh, do that from here, map options, yeah. okay, remember this. Next is again, how do you migrate reports and what is the checklist here? something that is very important here and this is very important to those who are keeping tableau as experience and you know unaware of how the process is so generally development is done in uh, development environment so after development is done you need to prepare test cases and after test cases are prepared by uh, you know and you have made sure all the dashboards are correct you need to move it to QA so that the QA team can validate. So what is the uh, no checklist and all? So I was able to explain this in detail, how I have done and what is the checklist that I have, uh, that I follow. So generally like uh, here we can explain. So making sure my connection is in, you know, uh, correctly pointing to the right environment. So if I'm development, I'm connecting to development environment. And when I'm moving it to QA, I'm making sure I'm connected to QA environment and to QA tables. I will make sure uh, the table structure of uh, dev and QA is same because sometimes there might be error. I'll make sure the data is correctly populated and all. And then uh, I will download the report that is there in development, connect it to QA environment and then publish it to QA environment. That is how I do. And after publishing, I will check whether all the values are populating correctly or not. Like I will do basic uh, uh, functional check of my dashboard to see everything is intact or not. So that is something that we can always do. And we all always need to do whenever we are moving report from one environment to another. 
and one thing that is important here to remember is do not you know open the local workbook that you have in your machine download whatever is there in the server no matter even if you're downloading it for hundredth time but download whatever is there in the server because that is working for sure because we know that we have tested the report that is there in server download it connect it to qa and then publish it same way when when moving it to qa to prod it is very important that you download the report that is there in server we should not you know open our local workbook and publish it to prod because users have tested that workbook that is there in qa environment and they did not test the report that is there in your local copy even though we know our local copy is correct we shouldn't be following that approach here at least when we are downloading report from qa environment at least we will make sure i mean at least we will be confident that okay this is the report that they have tested so if anything goes wrong in pre-prod or you know prod we can tell that okay boss i have moved whatever you have tested i have not done anything something like that if you are moving your local copy no one knows you know what happened something might change and you know uh, without our knowledge or some something might have happened or maybe it is not the latest copy then all the mess will happen in the production environment so you need to make sure that only the tested report is moved to uh, the next higher environment next is important again what is lod again lods are something that uh, i mean uh, during like all my recent interviews i have seen at least one to two questions here so level of detail expressions so like uh, they will ask uh, again one to two related questions on this like what kind of lods you have used and all so we should be able to explain this powerful function that is available in tableau and how it is impacting the data something that is very important okay so i i told him that you know i didn't use much of my uh, much uh, lod expressions in my tableau but i know that there are three types of lod expressions like include uh, fixed and exclude and how the data will pop up like fixed suppose i want to find out uh, like uh, uh, the minimum order date of customer like you know when did he place his first order date then i can use fixed lod okay so that kind of questions i can answer till here next is again what are different types of actions available in tableau again based on our version that we are using so this answer will differ so earlier there were only you know uh, three types of actions uh, but now as we are updating our actions there are many actions like at least uh, three six actions we have here filter highlight go to url these are three standard you uh, actions that we had earlier but now we have these three actions extra that got added go to sheet change parameter and change set values something that is very important concept wise also it is very important we can do many things you know using those actions next is how do you connect to multiple data sources again those who have used tableau they know how we can connect to multiple data sources so in sheet one so here you only you can so i have multiple data sources added in my worksheet so i can create a view using this text data and i can go to another sheet and i can create using this sheet also so it depends like you know i just need to go to this add data source and i can add the data source that i want simple okay so that is something that you need to tell or show so yeah and after this there were some uh, sql questions which i don't remember much but these are the interview questions that i faced uh, uh, during my interview with cap Gemini. so i think that's it from my side uh, this video hope you like it if you like please like share and subscribe thank you have a good day Bye bye